Yo, what's up guys? For you that do not know, my name is Mr. Headquarters, man. Today I got some awesome gameplay, man, from the day one of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer, man. I've been grinding it ever since I was able to first thing yesterday morning. And man, I had some awesome games, man. And one game, I'll get to that in a minute, but man, I just went off. But right now, uh, after playing and using my unlock token on the uh, Maddox, man, if you have not already... Check out my video to show you how to use your unlock token because it's not like your standard Call of Duty World War II. There's actually some extra steps that you got to go to in order to use that. So for right now, we're going to jump into on the Creative Class setup. What I feel right now is the best class setup for this Black Ops, man. I mean, the ICR burst, I mean, all that stuff, it's pretty good, man. But right now, man, this Maddox uh, RFB is off the chain, man. And with it, I'm running the Reflex Sight, the Laser Sight, Fast Mags, and Fast Mags 2. Man, Fast Mags 2, I mean, it's it's milliseconds before it comes on, man. I mean, just, you hit the reload button, it's boom, right there. So, I mean, whenever you're engaging in a fight right here on this game, it's the time to kill is extremely long, so it's best to just have those Fast Mags where you can reload real quick and get your ammo going so you can get back in the gunfight because when you have two or three people jumping on you, that is crucial to have ammo in your gun and not have to reload because it's taking like a whole clip to kill, you know, two people. So if you have three people or you're trying to get that first kill off and then you got the second one coming, you want to make sure you got enough ammo in your gun. So Fast Max 2 is a must, I feel, in this game. Uh, the stem shot, no way, man. I know in the beta and the stem shot that if you did not use it, you could not regen. But, man, y'all got you guys go ahead and try this. Take that stem shot off. And run this right here, man. The cosmetic device. Score streaks are earned at a discount. So basically, it's like ordnance off World War II. And I can't tell the difference between the stem shot. I mean, it's only like maybe two seconds before you know you can recharge your uh, stem shot to reheal. I mean, in the beta, you weren't able to use that. So it's crucial, man. Just it's a waste of perk to me, man. So. Cosmetic device gets me my score streaks quicker, so I mean, who wouldn't want to have the score streaks quicker, man? And uh, with the perks, I'm running Scavenger so I can reload my ammo. Like I said, man, we're busting through a lot of ammo in this game, man. So you want to make sure that you don't run out of ammo and you're searching for a gun. And then I'm using Lightweight right now just so I don't take any kind of fall damage and I can move around the map faster. Uh, I might go, you know, cold-blooded or gung-ho later, but right now, man, I got Lightfoot. So that's what I'm going to run. And uh, Ghost, I, I love the Ghost, man. Undetectable enemy UAVs while moving, planting, or diffusing a bomb or controlling score streaks, man. That way, you know, you're not getting slung on. I mean, I might run Dead Silence. I don't know yet, man. But right now, I'm using Ghost. And, you know, if I choose to, I'd use Dead Silence. But that right there concludes my class setup, man. I'm going to jump y'all over here to this commentary and let y'all see this fantastic gameplay, man. I ain't going to tell you what happens, man, but your boy goes off, man. Be sure to check it out, man. Let's swap on over and get on it, baby. What's going on, guys? I am Mr. Headquarters, here to give you my review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This game right here has met all my expectations. I don't know about y'all, but this game right here has got me going crazy. I mean, your boy is going off, man. I just have so much fun playing this game. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to eat. I don't want to pay bills, man. I just want to sit here and play this game all day, grind to master prestige. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button over on my Twitch channel, man. Join me because we're going to be grinding this game out all the way to master prestige. I cannot stop playing it. Now, in the beta, it was really crazy because the time to kill was extremely hard and long. So, I mean, it takes a lot of getting used to. But I feel as the game progresses, we will get used to it. And also, once you get started, your guns are not leveled up, guys. So take that into consideration. Your guns are not leveled up. So whenever you go and get into a fight, nine times out of ten, you're playing with some of these guys that got the game early and was able to play all day before we got to even touch the game. So they, right there, you had an unfair advantage to some of the people. And when I got on first, I said, this game is fixing to be crazy because every lobby I got into was in five, six-man parties, level 40s, and I'm sitting here level one. And when I come into the match, it is going off score streaks left and right. I mean, just getting bombed out everywhere every time I come out of a corner. But as the day progressed, man, your boy got into some better lobbies with some people around my level, skill, and, 
you know, so therefore their guns was leveled up with mine. So it was pretty much a, you know, a more of a, you know, who could shoot better, who could get down ADS faster. And it was just ungodly fun, man. I mean, we had fun all day playing this game. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. And I hope you get to use my class setup that I showed y'all previously before because I feel like this gun right here is one of the better guns in the game as of right now. As things progress and we get on into the game, we might find and unlock more guns that are better. But for right now, you cannot beat this Maddox. This Maddox right here is a laser machine and it just goes off. And I love using Torque. A lot of people say he's a camper, but I don't use it for camping, man. I use it just set off and block off you know, lanes so we can control the map more, man. It's all about skill base. So as long as you can control that one side, if you have everything to the left side and the guys try to come up to your razor wire, you have it blocked off so they cannot get to you and you know that they're gonna not go through it and they're not gonna spend all their ammo shooting up. So they're gonna go to the mid or to the other side. But I am so ready, man, to drop a nuke. It is so close right now, I can taste it because your boy right here, I believe this gameplay is 21 and one. I was so close and had the game not went off, I probably would have got my uh, nuke. But, you know, it was, uh, I guess, a TDM match, not domination. So if it would have been a domination match with this lobby, your boy would have got a V2 because I was well on my way. And at the very end, you'll see how close I was to it. It was ungodly. But, you know, if you did not pay attention to my video, guys, take the stem shot off. The stem shot is not doing you any good. It's just a perk that's taking up a valid space. Run your cosmetic device where you get your score streaks a whole lot sooner because, you know, the more you can put in your score streaks and help your team, it's kind of like Ordnance of Call of Duty World War II. But go ahead and help your team, man. Get your score streaks because, you know, uh, trying to run the stem and not running it, there's only like a two or three second time frame in between how fast it charges. I mean, check out the screen whenever I use it and how fast it charges. And the beta, we was, if you did not use the stem shot, then you did not regen. But right now, if you do not use a stem shot, you will regen. So, you know, I decided to check out some of the other perks so I could give you all a review. And I found out that, you know, my stuff was still regening. So I was like, well, we don't really need to use the stem shot because, I mean, the only way that you would use it is, is, I mean, I could see if he was in hard point or something where he's trying to take the OBJ and you're running in and you want to try to gun hole, shoot somebody, then hit your stem shot real fast, you know, stay in the fight and hit the stem shot, you know, and try to spam that stem shot button. But if you're just going to run around normal playing, then, you know, you really don't need it because it's going to recharge and you'll be able to use it. And, you know, you can at least hide or something if you get into a situation and put on that stem shot. So, I mean, it's going to recharge fast enough for you. So I don't see why you would use that, you know, like I said, because in the beta, we was not able to use it. Uh, the time to kill, I wish they would change, but I'm kind of getting used to it and enjoying it. And I don't know, I feel like they're going to do with a, something with the score streaks because, I mean, I feel like sometimes they're too easy to get. Uh, so I feel like they're going to do some kind of, you know, nerf to them and make them a little harder to get because a lot of people, want, as the game advances and everybody gets better, you're just going to see, you know, score streaks just coming left and right, blowing up the maps. So... I feel like they're going to change that, so look for that to come. And I also look for them to you know, do a lot of tweaks and everything. But right now, if you guys have an unlock token, go ahead and I suggest you use it on the Maddox if you have not already used it because it is a 49 level gun and you might as well get it now so you don't have to grind and get it later. I mean, there are some guns that are good in the beginning, but this gun right here is literally a laser machine. Now, I've tried to run with other reflexes without a reflex. And this one, the first reflex, is, in my opinion, the best one that I can I can control my shot on. And I am running at a 6.6 six sensitivity right now. I was running a 3.4, and I felt like I couldn't turn on the guys any faster. You know, I was just kind of slow trying to get my, you know, get my pin down on them. So I moved it up to a 6.6, six, and I believe that's going to be my sweet spot. I may try to uh, increase it up to 7 just to see if it, you know, progress up and get used to it. I don't want to go too fast too quick. But this game right here, I have to say the maps are designed perfect. You don't have a whole lot of people, as of right now, camping windows like we did in World War II. It's a whole lot of maneuvering around the map. And like I said, it, this, it's not promoting camping as of right now. But, you know, I do remember in Call of Duty when it first started out, everybody was kind of running around, around the map and playing. So I hope they do not trash these maps and start camping, sniping corners and stuff. You know, that right there just really gets annoying and ruins the game for me. But if we keep on going like this, man, this game right here has potential to keep on grinding and keep you wanting to grind. 
and I am very mad at Treyarch for not letting us have the game, man. All they had to do is give us the game early on digital. Everybody else was already grinding the game, getting leveled up, but they would not turn us on. If I could have scored me a copy of uh, Black Ops 4, I would have went ahead and done it. I actually went to GameStop at 2.30, 3 o'clock that afternoon, try to see if they would get me a copy. I said, I'll give you 50 extra dollars if you go back there and get me a copy. I know you got them back there. Please let me have one. They said, sorry, sir, I can't do that. I said, ah, I said, I know you got your job to take care of, but I tried, man. That's going to conclude the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come back to your boy because, man, I'm having fun playing this game and I want to enjoy it with you guys. Come in the chat, you know, ask me some questions, do whatever, man. Join my game, join my community, Mr. Headquarters, so when I go live, you can play with me, okay? But I'm going to get out of here, man. Y'all have a good day and I'll see y'all in the lobby. Peace.